All right, so you Matrix fans here, uh, if you are a fan of the Wachowskis, uh, the Matrix, uh, Gary Ann Moss, I don't know, uh, you are going to love this. This is a cool piece. Uh, there were two versions of this produced. One was a variant with the jacket. This is the more uh, action figure one. So see uh, arms a little bit more. And what it lets us know is that she is uh, articulated at the shoulders, I believe at the hips and what appears to be the head. But that's about it. Not a ton of articulation on this piece. I don't think at the knees... And given given that this was about 20 years ago, you can't expect a whole lot more. You don't you're not going to see an ab crunch or ankle uh, articulation. You're not going to see wrists anything like that. But what you will see is some cool hardware. You get this uh, uh, the long rifle. You got the two uh, handguns. You have the uh, knife. Uh, some pretty cool stuff. And I love that artwork in the back with the squiddies. Ah, uh, so cool. A uh, neat piece right here from N2 Toys. Who remembers N2 Toys? They do anything else other than the Matrix? I know they got that license somehow, magically, and then never saw them anywhere again. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to show you about 12 inches on the card, about five and a half inches or so, somewhere in that era. Can't tell where the feet really begin or end right there um, for her. And 2 kind of reminds me of Jun Planning. Remember Jun Planning? It's right around the same time. They got were the licensees for uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, and then saw them do anything else again. But Anyway, I'm going to show you the card here and the bubble. Bubble looks pretty nice, pretty clear. A lot of them from that era are yellowing by now, but not this. I don't see... Uh, maybe some slight discoloration it's starting uh, down that path, but otherwise pretty good. I don't see any crush wear, no cracks anywhere, and it is tight on the card except for right here. So uh, right there it looks like it has not only bent, but that has caused the bubble to come up just a little bit. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see that. See where the bubble is right here, and that's come up. Yeah, there you can see it. That's the best angle. So it's eventually going to come off, but otherwise the rest of that bubble is tight, and that's only because of that damage right now. So I want you to be aware of it. I'm also going to point out on the card itself a slight bend right there, but the key thing is there is a hole where a previous owner, whether it was our consigner or a previous owner to them, did tack it to a wall, presumably. Um, and that's fantastic. That means that they were enjoying this. They into the office or the house or wherever it was their collection room and look at this and just enjoy it every single day not cracking it open and playing with it and put it on a shelf uh maybe that's the next best thing so glad to see that but you might not be if you're a collector that really wants it pristine well then this might not be for you also there is this uh crease right along there you can see you know obviously it bent right along there at some point so there is that crease if you're looking at it for just a package um she's going to display like this how she's going to look uh, tacked to your wall or on your shelf, otherwise collected by you. She's going to look like that. And if you take her out of the package, she'll look even better uh, in your Tolf shelf. Or... Either way, however you choose to collect her, this is Trinity from The Matrix from N2 Toys.